Have you ever felt? Are you listening? Damn. with this hair color and like my roots are coming in my roots are lighter than the rest than this actual color that's on here and I think other than gray <laughs> I kind of want to get back to that lighter color I, this is just way too dark and I'm, I'm not happy about it look at that Look at that. It's hard to see. I know my lighting sucks, but it's considerably darker than my actual hair color. And I'm I'm bored with it. I've always been uh I've always put like red in my hair, actually. Not this like bloody black. I, I even though it's I never asked for black hair, I asked for dark hair. This is I mean dark brown, but like I don't know. It's like my idea of dark brown and your idea of dark brown are... <laughs> I don't know. I just felt like telling you that. I'm bored with my hair. Bored. Overtired. Need to do homework. I need to still feed, feed my child. I think I'm going to take him to the pizza parlor. Because I'm too lazy to uh, cook. But they have good salads there and I'll just get me a salad. Can I make that face a few more times? <laughs> Mama's tired. Mama's tired. Oh well. My hair looks like somebody pooped it out. <laughs> That's what I feel like. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. You'll never have the sacred stone. <laughs> oh, this you crazy mother. Good morning! Today is not a good morning. 
I am in a state of panic and I have to go to work and I don't want to because I am in a state of panic because this morning I believe I am not a vet so I don't know but I think I found a tick on my dogs like right in this area near her ear I've never I mean my dog is only she's almost two years old I've had you know I, I've never been the owner of, of the previous dogs in my life they were always like either my parents dog or something like that but I don't have the skills to remove a tick because I'm too worried of you know leaving a body part of it in her neck I don't know for sure if it is I'm, uh, but I, I listen my gut is rarely ever wrong it looks like what the pictures look like on the internet and there's a red like ring around where it is and I'm, I'm totally like, oh my god I can't take it like, I wish I didn't have to work today I wish I could just push this till tomorrow and then oh my god I'm sorry I'm venting because I still got to do homework because I wasn't able to do it yes usually I do my homework on Tuesdays but Tuesdays I worked for a new person so I couldn't do my homework my homework is due this evening so now I'm I'm gonna have to like power do it when I get out of here but now I'm gonna lose time because when I get out of here I mean I'm gonna call the vet while I'm when I take my little break while I'm working to this morning and I'm gonna call the vet and say um, yeah you better take me in today because I'm gonna have a medical breakdown if you try to schedule me another day how you doing my name's Kim that's exactly how that conversation is gonna go by the way because they better take me today they need to get that out of her and I don't know what happens after that you know what I'm saying? Do they give the dog pills? What are they gonna do? What, 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 what are they gonna, is she gonna get Lyme disease? Like I can't handle this kind of stuff. I'm so worried. It's not huge. So I've seen pictures of big ones. So I guess that means it's been there for a while. This is what I would call medium, small to medium in comparison to the pictures. But I want that piece of crap out of her. I'm gonna, oh my God, I can't deal with this, I can't. Can't, can't, can't. This, do these animals know what they do to us? They make us fall in love and go into state of panics when there's anything wrong. They're like our own children. So now I'm worried about her. I didn't want to leave her. Because now I'm looking for all the signs. You know, because of course I look up all the symptoms, which is the worst thing to do, which is what I do. You know, God forbid you find something strange on your own body. I go with the internet and self-diagnose. And, you know... Oh, my history of doing that is out of this world. But anyway, um, I'm worried. Uh, worried, worried, worried. They better take her today. Or I will just show up and demand a visit. How about that? They've never had a deal with me before. Because my dad's always done me the favor and taken the dog because she's bad around me. Meaning my dog is so spoiled by me that... She is so spoiled by me. Sorry, there was a guy in the road and I didn't want to see me talking. My dog is so spoiled by me that she gets whatever she wants. You know what I'm saying? So she's bad around me. She knows that mom's going to let me do whatever I want. And I do. Unfortunately, I do. So, you know, she, so she's better behaved around just my dad and my son. You know, if she sees me. Like, my dog is so spoiled by me. Let me just, let me just put it this way. Like, when I come home. She goes buck wild, but she goes buck wild, you know, when my son comes home too. So it's the same kind of buck wild. However, say me and my son just come home for the first time. And I don't go straight upstairs to get her because that's where her crate is. Um, she, she has to be in the crate when we leave. That's why we don't leave for very long amounts of time because I feel guilty. But she has to be in the crate because she destroys the entire house. Okay. So, um, so she's, you know partially created when I say partially because uh, I do I limit the amount of time that I am gone anytime because I'm too afraid of her being in there for too long so whenever we come back home and say I don't come straight to the bedroom to, um only my son does to get her then uh yeah so um when when we come home if I don't go straight to go get her out of the crate and like say I make a bathroom stop instead first she will zoom out, you know, at excitement to see him. And then he'll, he will always say to her, you know, you want to go out? You want to go out? So the two of them will go back down to the kitchen to go outside. And um, she will, 
I mean, literally, she does this every time. And I don't know how she does it to him every time. Because it's like, aren't you prepared? She's going to do it to you. But she does it. She psychs you out. She gets to the point where you guys are almost out the door. And she does like this power struggle and will run back up the stairs to find me because she must see me that i'm i she knows i'm in the house she has to physically see me okay but she is so bad that when she's around me her total temperament changes but in a good way just spoiled way i don't know why i just told you all that i'm worried about my dog about that bloody tick out of her neck and then i'm never taking her in the backyard again ever 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 that's probably where she got it from I'm, I'm exaggerating about probably take her in the backyard, but she needs she needs protection. Don't they have like tick guards for a room or a house or you know? Come on. Oh my god, I'm stressed out. All right, I'll talk to you guys in a little bit.